guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing down below. I do tons of different content such as witchy hauls, thrift hauls, crystal hauls. I also do a candle review series and talk about things that are on my mind and a bunch of other stuff. Right now, because it is October, I have a bunch of fall content. It is my favorite time of the year. And I've already put out, I believe, one or two videos. Some of them are being filmed in a certain order, but are going to be released in a different order depending on what the video is about. But any of that sounds interesting to you at all, please consider subscribing down below. Below. If you are already a subscriber to my channel, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my Halloween haul and I might have gone a little overboard this year. I'm going to start with Target. Now I love going to Target for Halloween stuff because it's usually pretty affordable. They usually have some pretty unique things and I told myself I was not gonna buy a bunch this year but I was lying to myself so <laughs> apparently anyways. I do have a lot of cool stuff I want to show you from Target as well as some stuff I got other places but we're gonna start with Target. So the first couple of things that I got from Target are from their little dollar spot area that they have when you first walk in. And the first item is this really cute tray, but I thought it was really cool. There are snakes for the handles and this part is made out of metal and then these snakes are a very hard plastic and I paid $5 for this. Um, this is going to be an all year round item for me, but I definitely really like it. Very affordable, very nice. The next item, which is still in its plastic, is a cloche and this one is a full one and I paid $5 for it. And it is just a acrylic plastic dome and a black acrylic base. I'm gonna make a little scene in here and I can't wait to use that. These are hard to find for that price, so if you have an option opportunity to get those I would snatch those up this next one was also five dollars and it is a pedestal cloche so here is the base and then it is a smaller one again for five dollars I mean you really can't beat that and it is just a an acrylic plastic and acrylic base then this one is a little mini cloche that's in a gold hand I do think the hand is like weirdly proportioned so that kind of is strange to me I like I feel like the palm should have extended but anyways beggars can't be choosers right and this one I feel like is made out of like a ceramic or something and then oh no I just realized that the top of it is chipped there's a little chip I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that right there oh, damn anyways that's sad that makes me really sad this was five dollars as well the base again is like a ceramic and then the actual dome is glass to this one i'm really sad that, that is chipped i can't believe i didn't notice that but again it is really cool nonetheless five dollars and it is gold i also found these which this is going to be for at work i'm not going to use this for at home i'm doing this for my office at work it is just some paper cut out cats that are little skeleton cats and then the like gold uh toned little cat i thought that would be cool stick on my office wall but there's a ton more because uh apparently i could not be stopped <laughs> I got this cute little backpack clip that I'm going to give to someone and it is a cat dressed up like a little vampire and he was two dollars so a little cheap backpack clip. They had these in a bunch of other styles. I think there was one where he was a pumpkin spider, a ghost, toad wearing a witch hat and there might have been one more. I don't remember but I thought that was super cute. Then I also bought this. It is supposed to be a kid's cup but who says you can't use it? It just says I'm magic and it is a plastic cup with a little witch hat lid and a green straw. I thought that was super cute and I paid three dollars for this. I just really liked it and I was like you know what I'll use that. Then this I was really really in love with. It was five dollars and it is this beautiful bottle. I don't know what I'm gonna put it or if I'm gonna put anything in it at all. There is a gold snake design on it and it is an ombre effect. It goes from black to clear and it's got a glass stopper. I really like it. It's really pretty. Probably just gonna be a decor piece on top of my dresser or something then these were eight dollars and there are some earrings i don't know how well you guys are gonna see these but they are just like these purple little circles with black bats on them they're like an acrylic they might be resin i'm not sure they're really cute and i really liked them and then i got something for luna and these are from i'm assuming it's bocce bakery and they're scaredy cat snacks salmon and sweet potato and they're just little Halloween themed cat treats. They're shaped like little hearts it looks like, but I thought it was cute and I just wanted to get her a little something. Then the last couple items from Target, which I don't know. And okay, I know one of them you guys are gonna know for sure. The other one I'm not so sure. But this one is Ghostface from the Scream movies and it is a plush 
And I wish I could remember how much I paid for him. I think he was like 14 or something like that. Not too expensive. Does it say on here? It does not. But he's just a little plush guy and he's even wearing the little costume and I thought he was super cute. I'm really into horror films so when I saw this I had to have him. They had a bunch of other horror film ones. I think they had Michael Myers and um, they have they had a couple of them. I wanted him. He was so cute. And then the other one I got which I don't know how many of you are gonna know when I was a kid there was this show called gargoyles and it was an animated show and it was about these gargoyles that were like protecting the city they were in and very gothy cartoon in my opinion but this is one of the guys from it his name's Goliath I feel like they made a movie or something like that not that long ago that brought these back I don't remember but when I was a kid, this was a cartoon that I watched all the time with my brothers. And when I saw this, I was like, are you kidding me? I have to have him. But they have a lot of cool stuff right now. And I don't know if it's because it's close to Halloween or if it's something they're going to be carrying a lot now. But yeah, there goes a picture of his character in the show. But yeah, I, I had to have it and I'm really happy about this purchase. <laughs> so those are the things I got from Target. Honestly, I, I went a little crazy, but happens, right? The next place I went to is called, let me get the bag in there. It's called Screamers Costumes and it's in Clinton Township, Michigan. It was quite a drive for me to get to this place. But I, one of my friends had been telling me about it for a while now and they're open year round so I really really wanted to go and I'm so happy I did. I'm gonna have some of the footage from me being there in a separate video because it's such a cool place that I'm gonna put that in a vlog. But they have a lot of cool things there. I didn't get a ton of stuff but I will show you what I got from there. I got this cup there which was obviously from Stranger Things. And it says he likes it cold. It was $3.99 for this guy. So definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. And then I got this little plastic zombie. They had a bin full of them and it was called um, My Pet Zombies. And there were a bunch of different designs. This is the one I went with. I just thought it was funny. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I got them anyways. I might put him in one of those cloches actually. I also bought one of these blind packs from there from the Disney villains. I will show you guys who I got. I thought it was so cute. I think these are like the Funko Pop brand. So that is who I got. I was gonna get a bunch of them but I was like you know let's not go too crazy. But I'm very happy with that as well. Then I bought this mug that was on clearance and this mug was on clearance for $5 and it is a vintage Dracula coffee mug and if you have seen any of my previous videos, especially my Halloween ones, I love coffee mugs. I mostly drink tea out of them, not so much coffee. But, so yeah, this is a retro Dracula and it says don't dare see it alone and it's just supposed to be about the film. So I thought that was really cool and for five bucks, another horror themed coffee mug to add to my collection. And then I do have a couple stickers here. I think I only paid like 50 cents or so for these. There is a little jack-o'-lantern with a mushroom. Then this one is Count Dracula and his vampire bride and this one had Christopher Lee in it originally. It is the movie poster but it's a sticker and then they gave me this for free it is just the screamers on it because that is the name of their store and it's got michael myers on that is all i got from there i did not get much because try not to spend too much money and it is a very cool place and i could easily spend a ton in there honestly so I had to hold that quite a bit. And when I show you that video from that, you'll understand why. Okay, the next things I'm gonna show you are from random places. So the first item I'm gonna show you from a random place is I had done a craft show on October 1st with my friend Lee, which I also have footage from that will be in the same vlog as Kramer's one. And I got these little poison apple earrings from someone there and I paid $12 for them. And I just thought they were super cute. They are just like a green sparkly a red apple and I really love them and I wanted to support one of the people there. The next couple items are from the Renaissance Festival. Somebody actually picked these up for me. I did not get these myself. They were a gift but they are little tiny tombstones. I'm probably gonna use them in those cloches to do something but they're very cute. The same person who gave me those also for whatever reason gave me a giant fake bug. This one is an ant. It is probably gonna go on a craft project which we are gonna talk about in a couple minutes here. So I can't remember exactly where I got these and I apologize now but I already have some of these and I wanted more. They are skull spoons and I got two of the silver 
silver and then two of the black and like i said i already have a couple of these i just wanted a few more because it felt weird to just have a couple random ones and i wanted it to seem more like i had a set then i also got myself a couple of phone cases because my phone is actually really hard to find cases for i have a samsung galaxy 21a or a21 i guess if you want to call it and it's hard to find cases that fit it so i ended up ordering a couple they were very cheap i think i paid like five bucks for these there's this one it has got a spider web and a black widow on it and then this one has got a bunch of snakes and moons the mistake i made with this one is the fact that my phone is black and i'm gonna put something white behind it so you guys can see it better because of all the artwork on this being black when i put it on my phone you can't see any of it so that was something i was not planning and didn't think through very well so i'm probably gonna put like a white piece of paper behind it this one's got a lot of white on it so i should be okay but yeah i i didn't think that one through very well then i also got these cute little earrings and they are just a black cat sitting on a moon then i also got a pillowcase cover I'm gonna change out one of the ones that is on my bed but it just says thick thighs and spooky vibes and it's got a little skull and a bat and very much my style then i'm sure you guys if you pay attention to tiktok at all you know about the window cover you can get that will put rainbow effects on your floor or your walls or whatever if you put it on your window and the sun shines through it so this is actually a bunch of them stacked together i'm gonna do it that way so it's a little easier to come up on camera but they're a little bat and it's the same thing like when light goes through these it'll create like a rainbow effect i can't remember how many is in here i think it's like 12 it's either 12 or 10 but it's a rainbow sun catcher but you just stick it on your windows and they're not stickers they're more like cling i can't remember how much i paid for these but they were pretty cheap i bought them the same day that i bought some stickers for inside of my bathtub which i thought i had kept a package from in here so i could show those to you guys but i don't see it i don't know what i did with it but i have bought little tub grip but they're black bats i bought these the same day because i was like you know what might as well go full back and now we're gonna move on to dollar tree the first item i got is this sign and it says fortune telling crystal ball and tarot cards and again these are all from dollar tree and then this one's double sided on one side it says trick or treat and it's a coffin and then on the other side it says welcome i have a project in mind for this i'm gonna insert a photo right now of something i saw at i believe it was joanne fabric it was incredibly overpriced that i'm gonna make myself with this and a plastic skull which i believe the plastic skull i showed up uh, in my fall haul video that plastic skull i'm going to use on this create what i just showed you then next up i just have a simple background that i'm going with to put on my wall for my videos you guys are going to be seeing all month and this one is just plain brick and then these few couple items i'm going to repaint um but anyone who knows me knows how much i like skeletons one of my nicknames has to do with skeletons and this is pink and i don't like pink but i'm going to repaint it but i thought this was really cute i've never seen anything like this at dollar tree um i'm gonna repaint the rose too instead of it being pink i'll probably make it like red or black or something but yeah so it's just little skeleton hands making a heart i thought that was super cute and then also that is very similar to that is this little statue that is a skeleton torso i'm gonna obviously repaint the pink parts but i still thought that was very very cool and i also found this little pink pumpkin which again i'm gonna repaint the pumpkin part i'm gonna leave the roses black but i'll just probably paint the pumpkin orange but i thought that was really pretty and they're in the shape of a moon and then this one that looks a lot like jack skellington so i don't know if that's who they were going for but that's who it looks like to me so i bought that <laughs> i'm not trying to stir up any controversy but i mean kind of suspicious and then this i'm super sad about this got scratched up so bad in the bag that a lot of it is flaking off and i don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that but still cool nonetheless it is just a black bat on top of this bottle then they have this little plastic beaker which i don't really know what i'm gonna use for but i liked it it just says poison on it like this holographic sticker it's a clear little acrylic beaker and then this is one of the items i was looking for last year and could not find and it is a skull candle that's supposed to bleed when you burn it but you can obviously see all the red before it's even burned but i had been wanting one of these real bad last year and could not find them anywhere and i finally found one this year then i did get two kitchen towels and they are a little wrinkled because i had the ceramic stuff wrapped in them so they wouldn't break but this one says come in for a spell or two and it's got little cauldrons all over it and then this one says we all have a bit of magic in us which i think is 
very true. It's a little witch hat. It's got little witch hats all over it. When I tell you I got a lot of stuff, I mean it. <laughs> The next thing I got were these little wooden books. So this one has a little snake on it and it says potions and poisons and then it also says it on the side. But I definitely really like that. It's really pretty blue. I wish it did open, which I'm sure you could probably get a way to get it open. Oh yeah, you could easily pry that open. But it's not meant to be open. It's just supposed to be a fake book. And then the other one just has some like stitching detail on it and an eye and it says monsters and magic. I thought that one was pretty cool as well. And then this isn't really Halloween themed, but it kind of is because it's around the same time of Dia de los Muertos. And I don't know if you guys have seen the Pixar movie Coco. I love that movie and for a lot of reasons, <laughs> but I got, it's Hector from Coco. He is in his little skeleton form. Um, they also had Miguel too, but I really wanted Hector. And I'm probably going to turn him into a keychain or a necklace or something. I saw him and he was really cute. Had to have him. Then I also picked up a pack of these skull tea lights that are battery operated. I don't know quite what I'm going to use them for, but I'm sure they will come in handy. Then I picked up this glow-in-the-dark skeleton. I don't quite have a plan just yet for him, but I am sure I will come up with something. I do have some Halloween crafts that I plan on doing, so that'll be in a video later on this month if you guys want to do Halloween crafts with me. I did do fall crafts and it seemed like you guys liked that video, so I already have a Halloween one planned as well. Uh, I planned it before I saw that the fall one was doing well, but I'm glad I decided to do it because apparently it's something you guys want to see. <laughs> They're easy crafts, mind you. They're not difficult in any way, shape, or form. So I do have four spools of ribbon here. I have two of the velvet purple and two of the velvet black. And they had a lot of craft stuff this year, I feel, for Halloween. And I bought several, which I'm only going to show you one of each because I'm not going to show you them all. They all look the same. But I bought several of their purple LED and their orange LED strands of light. I picked up the same kind of pumpkins I used in one of the fall craft videos where it's got like the fabric over the top. Only these ones are orange. Oh, I do have one more of the little fake wooden books. This one is a little less spooky and more just witchy. This one just says magic hour on it and I just got a moon and a black cat. Then I also got these monster LEDs. I might put this on a tree or a pumpkin. I haven't decided quite what I want to do with these yet. There's those. Then we've got a couple different little wooden tabletop decorations. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put them quite yet, but this one's just supposed to be a bunch of book. And it does have like the little leg to pop it out and set it up. So there's that one. And then they also have this one that says Lunar Spells, which I really like. And again, it does have the same thing on the back. And then I bought this plain unfinished wood plaque. Um, this is going to be for one of the Halloween crafts. So if you want to do it along with us, you are going to need this moss and a skeleton and preferably some spray paint, but you don't need spray paint. That's just if you want to paint the skeleton something else, but you will need those things if you want to follow along and some paint. Then I also bought these to go along with those monster eyes. If I do do with the pumpkin I want to, these are just glow in the dark fangs you can put into your pumpkin after you carve it. I thought that would be fun. Then I bought a couple of these jars and they look like little pumpkins and you know, they're a decent size, but I bought two of the clear ones. And then they also have it in orange. They're like little pumpkin jars, kind of. I'm gonna obviously use them for like herb storage and stuff. I might end up doing something else with it, but herb storage for sure. And I, yeah, I only got one of the orange, two of the clear. And then the next item that I got was this really cool witch vibe sign it's got some constellations on it it's just a little hanging sign then we have this one that says welcome psychic knows all sees all tarot card readings that one's really cool then i also got this one that says palmistry guide inquire within crystal ball readings love fate and destiny and then it says open at the bottom and then the last one here which is probably my favorite out of all of them is just this picture of a sun in a crystal ball i just like the colors in it <laughs> i think is probably what it is a lot of purple and blue and black and gold definitely thought that was really pretty really simple there's no wording on it at all and then i ended up putting a lot of the craft supplies in here so they wouldn't go everywhere but this is a little two pack of mini signs the first one says welcome to our haunted home 
and the other one says the witch's in this is for another one of the crafts i'm going to do which is going to be a wreath so i got these little foam roses and then i saw these and i thought these were absolutely adorable they're little glass amber colored bottles but they say wool of bat which is brew trimmed spider hair and unfiltered poison they are all little jars and then they even have the tall skinny ones with the same stickers on it then they had a lot of cool stickers this year too which this one's got a lot of witchy type stickers on it i will insert photos of these because i know my camera's not going to show up very well these ones have like crystals and say a lot of cool witchy things on that one as well and then there's these ones these ones are a little more cutesy and then they also had a couple of rub-on transfer sheets so there's that one and that one again really love those i feel like they took their game and then the last thing that was in there which i also got off the internet but i had stuck in there so it wouldn't get all bent up is a little notebook that says magic world on it and then the last thing that is also from dollar tree is the stuff that i had most of this in and it is a dia de los muertos bag reusable shopping bag and it's got a skull on it and spider webs and then i did find bats that i got from my tub which i was really excited about because i've got a couple left that i didn't put in my tub but they're a very sandpapery-esque <laughs> type sticker and it's to keep your grip on your bathtub so you don't slip and i've got a couple left but it came with how many were in here there was a lot it like i had plenty to cover my whole bat bottom of my bathtub so i think there was like 30 of them if i'm not mistaken might have even been a little bit more than that but they're really cute and they were on theme the bottom of my bathtub has a bunch of bats on it no complaints here can't go wrong with that so that is everything that is in this halloween haul and i hope you guys enjoyed this video at all and again some of the stuff is for some halloween crafts but we will be making a wreath plaque and if time also one of those little cloches from target i might do a craft video with that as well so if you guys want to check that out at all please look out for those videos it'll be a little bit further into october when i do those ones i think the way i've got it all spaced out uh, this video is probably going up on friday so monday will be my very first spooky stories video of the month so i hope you guys are ready for that it's really exciting and i cannot wait very stoked about it and i think the way that my schedule for my halloween videos is going to go but i plan on uploading every monday wednesday and friday mondays will be the spooky stories wednesdays and fridays will be all kinds of different videos whether they're halloween vlog or craft videos or anything like that those will go on wednesdays and fridays otherwise monday is the only thing that is for sure going to be my spooky story videos and i will see you guys in the next one let me know what you thought down below what you think the coolest thing was that i got or if you know of any other cool stuff i should check out i probably don't need any more halloween stuff you know i love spooky season but i will see you guys in the next one all right bye